thick turret two inch tapping unit comes with a specific tap size installed. A number etched on the end of the tap assembly indicates the pitch size. Before installing into the machine, we should confirm the correct tap size is installed. To view or change the installed tap insert, using a small flathead screwdriver, remove the nose piece by loosening the retaining ring from either side of the keyway and lifting the nose piece straight up. To remove the tap insert, again using a flathead screwdriver, press down on the spring-loaded insert holder while holding onto the point of the tap insert. Failure to hold the insert will result in an airborne tapping insert. To install a tap insert, using a flathead screwdriver, press down on the spring-loaded insert holder and insert the tapping insert into the center hole. Rotate the insert while lightly pushing downward until the square shank seats properly in the holder. Make sure the tap is secured by pulling upward on the tapping insert. To reinstall the nose piece, make sure to align the groove in the top of the nose piece with the nozzle and lower the nose piece onto the tapping unit. The keyway slot in the nose piece should also be aligned with the keyway of the guide body. Reinstall the retaining ring and the nose piece is ready to go. As a reminder, before getting started, it's extremely important to read the contents of the user manual in its entirety. All procedures for operating this tool must be understood by the user. Failure to do so may result in damage to the tool or machine. Turret installation. As previously mentioned, the thick turret two inch requires one two inch or C station. The ready punch height will need to be calibrated prior to tapping and the clamp safety zone will need to be set. Again, refer to the user manual for these procedures. For use in a FinPower E5, once it has been determined where the tapping unit and oil housing will be located, proceed with placing them into the turret. Insert the tapping unit into the corresponding C station. Place the oil housing over the selected B station, making sure the oil housing sits flat on the B station upper holder with the fittings for the oil line facing the desired direction. Secure in place by tightening the set screws using the supplied 3 seconds inch hex wrench. We are now ready to install the oil line into the tapping unit. Insert into the tapping unit by pressing the quick release button and pushing into the fitting. Release the button to secure in place. Position the oil line so it doesn't interfere with the other stations and place the magnetic base ring onto the turret. We are now ready to use the tapping unit. Adding oil to the oil housing. Remove the cap on the oil housing. 
place the supplied funnel into the top of the oil housing. Add the supplied tapping oil to the oil housing, observing the lubrication level through the sight glass on the front of the housing. Once the oil has been added, the housing must be primed using the supplied hand pump. Place the pump above the opening of the oil housing and screw the pump into the threaded hole. Once secured, pump one or two times to prime the unit. Depress the button on the tapping unit until all air has been released. In this case, we can't see the tapping unit, but by pressing down on the unit, it will allow the air to escape. You may need to reprime the oil housing and unit again to ensure proper oil flow. Once it's been primed, remove the pump and replace the cap on the oil housing. Now that we have everything installed in the machine, we're ready to begin tapping holes.